Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fan company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do container with most water lead code problem. And if we see some of the companies where I want to get a job, we already asked this question. There are companies like Amazon, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Goldman Sachs, ByteDance, Bloomberg, TikTok, Uber, and Tesla. So that's why I'm paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. This is a lead code medium problem and also very well like problem on lead code and like any lead code problem we are given some input and we are expected to get some results uh, from this particular input but before we start understanding this problem uh, first let's see this concept that i am trying to explain okay so suppose we are given a container that looks like this and we are trying to see that how much water can we fill in this container well the uh, logic is actually quite simple we can only fill water up until this point inside this given container uh, anything more if we try to add water over here that water would simply spill out we won't be able to fill our water above this line so that is a given fact right there is a very simple explanation now if i ask you that how much water is present in this container so then in that case the answer is simple there can only be water up until this point, nothing more than that. So in this case, uh, for this particular container, rather than considering this container to be a container, if we consider this to be a rectangle, things becomes easy for us. Because we know that uh, the surface area of rectangle is the amount of water we can store in this particular container. And we know the formula to calculate the area inside any given rectangle. Suppose this is the height of the container and this is the width of the container. If we are given these two values, basically if we do H times W, height crosses height multiplied by width, we will get the amount of area and that would equivalent that how much water we can hold uh, in any given container. Now let's uh, try to understand another scenario. Suppose we are given a container that looks like this or we are given a container that looks like this. In these two cases, how much water can we store? Well, the answer is again simple. We can only fill water up until this point till the lower edge on, on any given container, not more than that. So now in this case, we are actually given two different heights for each sides of the given container, right? So suppose this side is H1 and this side is H2 and same goes over here. This one is H1 and this one is H2. If that is the case, if we try to calculate the area in this case, the area equation for the water is going to change. Why? Because we are not going to use H1 over here uh, because this is the higher side. We are actually going to use H2 which is the lower side. So in this case, uh, the area is going to be H2 times width for this particular container. But for this particular container, the uh, equation is actually going to be H1 times width because this H1 is actually smaller in this case. So these are the two concepts that you will have to understand. And now let's go back to the problem. Okay, so now in the problem, we are actually given an array called heights uh, of length n. And now if we try to plot this array of height in on a graph, uh, we can consider that based on the x axis, we can actually create a container. And then we need to find that what is the container we can create that contains the most amount of water. And then we need to return the amount of water that the maximum container can store. Now I know that the wording may sound confusing, so it would be better by understanding with this example. Suppose we are given an array heights like this. So if we try to plot this array heights on a graph, we can actually get a graph that looks like this. Now in this graph, you can see that there is a difference between lines and based on these line differences, we can actually create some sort of containers between any two vertices uh, and the amount of water we can fill depending uh, will depend on the lower side of the height rather than uh, higher side of the height. So in this case, we can actually create a container that looks like this. So if we try to consider this index number one and index number four, uh, the container we can create is going to look like this, where this is the amount of water we can fill, nothing more than that. Now remember, uh, as mentioned earlier, that for every single time, if we want to calculate that what is the amount of water we can find, we need to calculate the area of the presumed rectangle. And for that, we need the height, which we already have based on these values, which we can derive from the array. 
and we need the value of the width. So width we can achieve by calculating the difference between any two places uh, on the x axis and uh, these values we can determine depending on the index values of the given input array. So it makes our lives easier. Uh, so in this case if we try to see that some of the containers that we can make we can make a container that looks like this amongst these two values and then we can calculate its water so I'm just showing you for an example so in this case the minimum height is actually 5 so height is going to be 5 and the width in this case is actually going to be 2 so 5 times 2 we can see that okay there is 10 units of water we can put in this container if this was to be the be the container the thing is we are trying to find the maximum uh, con maximum water we can make amongst any given container so in this case the answer is actually going to be this container uh, where the current height is 7 among 7 and 8 so we are going to choose 7 as the height okay so h is equal to 7 so okay uh, it's going to be 7 times the distance so distance in this case okay this value is 2 and this value is 9 so distance is also 7 so in this case 49 is the maximum unit of water we can contain and that is going to be stored between this container uh, and basically I hope that this makes understanding this pro problem easier and after understanding the problem now let's focus on different solutions that we can achieve the first approach we have is a brute force approach and suppose this is the input we are given if we try to plot it on a graph we can actually create a graph that looks like this now the idea is we are actually going to check every single container that we can possibly make and depending on that we will try to see that what is the what container contains the most amount of water so basically we are going to have two variable uh, first variable is called area to contain to calculate the water at any given container and second is going to be the max variable that is going to be update its value whenever we find a better area or maximum water we can contain right so first we will start with this first index and we will try to see that okay what is the container we can make with between the index 1 and 2 we can make a container that looks like this what is the container we can make between 1 and 3 we can make a container that looks like this uh, and say so on and so forth we will keep on repeating our uh, graph after being done with this value number 1 we will ignore that and uh, we will start focusing from value number 2 so from value number two we can make container that looks like this and then again a container that looks like this and blah blah so on and so forth and eventually we would find an answer in this case between this con uh, value number two and seven indexes that the if we make this container that is going to hold maximum amount of water and in this case the answer is going to be okay so for this area height is going to be four because that is the smaller amongst these two and the width is actually going to be five because two minus seven is five so maximum area is going to be 20 and 20 is the answer we are going to return so this solution would work as expected but if we see the issue with this solution the issue is actually time complexity why time complexity because for every single value we are comparing it with all the other values to see what is the container we can create and we are not doing things efficiently so basically the time complexity in this case is big of n square which is very bad and we will have to uh, do something better so let's see that what is the better approach we can get So for the optimal solution we are actually going to use two pointers to our advantage and uh, we will try to see that what is the optimal container we can make. So we are going to have a pointer left located at the first position and we are going to have a pointer right located at the last position. The idea is both pointers are going to come towards each other until they meet or cross each other. Now every single position we will try to see that depending on the values of left and right what is the container we can make. Uh, and then we will try to calculate its area and after calculating the area we are going to compare the heights between left and right and whichever has greater height uh, we are going to keep that height and then we are going to update the remaining counter so left counter, counter will go on the right side or right, right counter will come on the left side. Uh, so let's see the solution in action and it will make more sense so basically uh, initially first if we see currently the height at left is 3 and height at right is 2 okay so if we want to calculate the area we are going to cal calculate the smaller amount okay so currently the smaller height is actually 2 and if we see the width width in this case is going to be 7 okay so current area we are able to calculate is 14 uh, we are also going to have a variable called max area so currently the max area we have been able to find is 14 okay so far so good now we will try to compare the heights between left and right okay so currently left height is actually greater so it is in our interest 
to move right counter one step to the left rather than moving the left counter okay so in this case right counter is going to come at come over here now again we are going to repeat the same process so now currently the height at right counter is 6 and left counter is 3 okay so now if we, we will have to calculate the area again so we are going to choose the smaller value amongst the height so currently this is going to be 3 as the smaller height and width is going to be 6 okay so currently the area we can get is 18 18 is greater than 14 so we are going to update the max maximum area uh, maximum water we can contain to 18 uh, now we are going to compare the height between left and right now in this case the height at right is actually greater than left so we are going to update our left pointer to go one step to the right uh, now this left pointer is located over here currently the height is 2 the, again we are going to calculate the area so this height is actually going to become 2 and the width is actually going to become 5 so 2 times 5 is actually 10 uh, so because 10 is less than 18 we are not going to update the maximum value we have been able to find again we are going to calculate the heights between left and right so again right uh, height is greater so we will update the left pointer to go on one step on the right side uh, now currently the height over here is 7 and uh, currently the other height is 6 so we are going to choose the smaller height so the height we are going to choose is going to be 6 uh, 6 times the width is going to decrease okay so currently the width value we have is going to be okay this is uh, okay this is left pointer so 3 minus 1 4 okay so uh, 6 times 4 on um, so this area becomes 24 24 is actually greater than 18 so because 24 is actually go greater than 18 we are going to update the maximum area we are being able to calculate okay so this is 24 now again we are going to compare the heights between the left pointer and right pointer so currently right pointer is actually less so now we will have to update the uh, value of the right pointer so currently this becomes our right pointer now this value is 3 this value of left pointer is 7 so again the height is actually going to be 3 and the width is going to be 3 as well so this is going to be 3 times 3 so this is 9 we don't we don't need to update the max value again if we compare the heights the right is actually smaller so again we will update the value of the right counter so now this time the right counter is reaching at this value number one so if we calculate the this container this container the uh, area is actually going to be 2 so uh, 2 times 1 so 2 times 1 is only 2 so we don't need to do anything again we will update the right counter so currently the value of route right counter is 4 and the left counter is 7 okay so we are going to have a container that looks like this so 4 times 7 uh, sorry uh, 4 times 1 is going to be 4 as well uh, so then we in this case we don't need to update the max value and if we try to update the left or right variable again that they would cross each other so because they would cross each other now we can end up get out of our loop so whatever the maximum result we have found so far that is going to be the solution we need to return so in this case the answer is actually going to be 24 as that this is the maximum units of water we can contain between uh, basically this container this water container and uh, that is the answer we need to return uh, if you see the beautiful thing about this solution uh, this whole solution gets completed in a single iteration uh, between these two pointers and if we see time complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big of n only which is much better improvement compared to our brute force approach which had the time complexity of big of n square which was really bad so we can avoid that if we see space complexity if the space complexity is also really good because apart from using couple of pointers we are not using any additional space so space complexity is actually constant space which is wonderful uh, and uh, this is a very good approach and a very good way to learn two pointer problem and uh, i hope you understood it now let's move on to the coding first of all we are going to initialize couple of variables so first variable is going to be max and that is that we are going to initialize it to zero uh, then we are going to initialize two pointers left and right and left is going to have the value of 0 and right is going to have the value of whatever the length of heights array is. So we run our while loop that while left is less than right. Now first of all we will have to calculate the width. So width is going to be right minus left. So now we have the width and we already have the height from this heights array. We will calculate the area. So this uh, equation should give us the area we are selecting the lesser height amongst right height and left height and uh, now we will see that whether we need to update the max value as well and now we will have to update our left or right pointer so we will check that okay if the current height of left is that is less than or equal to the right height we will update the left counter if that is not the case we will update the right pointer to go one step on the left side and uh, in the end we can simply return the max variable that we have calculated 
and that should be it let's try to run this code okay seems like our solution is working as expected and our solution runs pretty efficiently compared to a lot of other solutions and i would be posting this in the comments so you can check it out from there thank you